Hey guys, another quick video. I'm still here in San Tropez, but I wanted to just talk to you while I had the time um, about affiliate marketing. So um, I'm gonna go through all of these things over the next few weeks, but today's video is just about affiliate market, marketing done right. I've, I've tried everything with affiliate marketing and I've done all this testing, not only for myself, but for you guys, right? Because I wanted to be real and be able to present really good information on how to really make money online. And if you don't have your own products, number one is I'm gonna say that. Having your own product is probably the best way to make money online. Having your own uh, uh, physical products or having your own digital products like courses or whatever, that's the best way to make money online. The next best way is to um, be an affiliate marketer, but there's a right and a wrong way to do that. And Nancy and I were talking about that the other day about how people, you know, just take a link and they just throw it up anywhere. And that's not the right way to affiliate market. And also like how to make money with ClickBank and using those products um, and how to make money with like CPA marketing where you have, uh, you know, just kind of like random shit that people throw up anywhere. And it's not really relevant to your, your, your core uh, market, right? Your tribe. Um, the number one rule in affiliate marketing is to be relevant to your people and to provide shitloads of, uh, of content and information about whatever it is they're, they're doing, right? So let's just say you're into lawn, lawn uh, keeping, like you do lawns, you're into landscaping. Really talking about landscaping and all about how to do it, about how to grow flowers and use fertilizer and how to cut your lawn and what to do with the, the uh, cut grass after you finish, how to start a mulch, how to mulch the lawn, talking about everything, how to set up sprinklers, really just giving up all the information you possibly have about landscaping and then approaching a sprinkler company, let's just say for instance, and saying, hey guys, you know, I'm uh, an influencer and this is where I'm a little bit different from everybody else. I've in fact opened my own agency for my company. And I really wanna talk about that because uh, if you're an influencer and you want to start making the money online, all the craze right now is hot, you know, Russell Brunson and even Miles Beckler and Ty Lopez is even getting on top of it now. And I've been kind of doing this on my own. Having an agency for your influencer channel is, there's all kind of agencies running around. But what I've done is I've become my own agency and I've brokered my deals with these companies all by myself. And I want to talk about how I did that as well. But th the number one thing is to be relevant to your people. So what I did was I studied, 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 studied my people for a good 90 days. I really got in there and got to understand my crowd. I understand my tribe and I wanted to know what exactly is they wanted. I wanted to know all their pain points. I found that out. And once you understand their pain points and what it is they want, then being relevant and offering them, not even sounding salesy because this is what they want. And that's a number one, one of the number one things that I learned is you don't sound salesy, you don't sound like you're, you're not spamming people if you're giving them what they want. So just imagine that you have a thousand people, and Gary Halbert said this as well, like, you know, um, uh, if, you, if uh, I can sell anything, uh, I says, give me a bunch of hamburgers and, you know, how, how can I sell, uh, how would I sell those hamburgers and just put me in a crowd of, full of honey, uh, hungry people? I'm paraphrasing there, but pretty much what he said. And what I was about to say was, if you give me a thousand water bottles in front of a people that are sitting in the desert that need water, they're not gonna say you're being salesy when you come up to them and say, hey, I got water for 25 cents. They're gonna pay the 25 cents and be happy and glad that you came by with it, right? And that's what all of, of affiliate marketing is all about, finding those people that have pain points. So if you have people that are really in pain and you have a product that you think can fix that pain, they're gonna be happy that they, oh man, I'm so glad that you gave me this. Um, man, I have a hard time walking at times. My calves give me the hardest problem right now because I haven't really been active in a while. This is the first time we've been active in years. And there's this oil that Nancy uses, man, that really just does the trick. Now, do you think that I'd be pissed off if somebody walked up to me with this ointment and had for sale? No, I'd be glad because I had a pain point. I had sore muscles and I wanted to fix it. I don't want the stuff to stink. I want it to smell good. And I don't want it to come off of my clothes and all of these pain points that you have when you want to try to use like an Icy Hot or a Bengay or something like that. You have these pain points. And if you know these people that have these pain points, it's really easy to say, hey man, this is what I have for you. I think this can work for you. And telling them, hey, it doesn't smell, blah, 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 right? Telling them these things. 
And that's what affiliate marketing is all about. I've learned that myself. The easiest way, the path of least resistance to affiliate marketing is to give people tons of information uh, relevant to what they want, find out their pain points, and then deliver a solid product, giving them exactly what they want. That right there is the core of affiliate marketing. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm just telling you what I found out for myself over the last year, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to do it, is finding out exactly what someone wants and then giving it to them is the path of least resistance when it comes to affiliate marketing. It's easy. Nobody's pissed off at you. Um, they, they're not calling you a spam artist. <laughs> You're not having to go out and try to sell something that somebody doesn't want. As a matter of fact, people ask me all the time, hey, Sonny, can I get on your mailing list? Because I don't want to miss your next offer. So over the next, again, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be telling you exactly how I did all that stuff. So click the link below if you want to join FHP.io. Uh, Funnel Hacker Pro because a lot of those tips are going to come right inside my group. I'd love to see you there and also join my mailing list. I'm going to be coming out with a kick-ass newsletter soon. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'll see you soon.